guys, welcome to day two of the 12 days of Christmas ornaments with Mama Ames and jumping right into it today we are going to make these twine ball ornaments. Aren't they or isn't this beautiful? I think so. I think I did a pretty daggone good job of it. So I'm going to show you exactly how to make this today. But first, let's talk about supplies. So to make this ornament, you are going to need a balloon, a roll of twine. Now I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. They have this, and this is a bit thicker. It's a bit thicker than the, the stuff that you get in the hardware section at the Dollar Tree. And I made some with the thinner twine, and then I made one with this thicker twine, and I like the thicker twine better. So uh, we're gonna be using this thicker twine. This was in the craft section in the Dollar Tree. So I got that. You're going to need your Mod Podge. You can use the satin or whatever other kind you might have on hand. You can also get Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree, but it's in a much smaller container. So, get your Mod Podge. You're going to need your scissors. You're going to need your glue gun. And yes, I got a new mini low temp glue gun. Thank goodness. I found this on Black Friday special, so it was a lightning deal on Amazon, so I grabbed that. It was very inexpensive. And you're going to need whatever embellishments that you're going to want to add to the top. And that's it, guys. That is it. Really. And all of this stuff, all of my embellishments, there's my little mini pine cones in there. All of these things came from the dollar store. So let's get started. Okay guys, I'm going to do this tutorial a little bit differently um, because I thought the one last night got a little long and also because this one is a little simpler. It kind of is self-explanatory if you ask me. What you're going to do is you're going to take your balloon and you're going to blow it up to about the size of the ball that you want. So if you want to make yours a little bit smaller, you don't put as much air in it. If you want to make it bigger, then you blow it up a little bit bigger. You tie it off. Then you and I am holding my phone so that the uh, the project will be closer than last night's tutorial. So I'm trying to do this single-handedly. Now you could use just a little bit of tape if you'd like to push or to put the tape on it and hold that end in place. I usually don't because what I do is I just kind of wrap it and wrap it over top of the end to hold it in place. It's totally up to you. And all you're going to do is continue to wrap your twine around your balloon until you get it into whatever pattern that you think looks nice. And that is kind of what I did. And when you when you get to the end, you're gonna just kind of tuck it up underneath where you end it. So you're just gonna take that edge and just tuck it up underneath another piece of the twine. Then once you have your 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 twine wrapped the way you want it around your balloon, all you're gonna do is take your Mod Podge and I dip it right out of the bottle. Open up your Mod Podge, get you a foam brush, and just paint the Mod Podge. And I take my foam brush and get it way in there, and I mean not way down in there, but you know, get the tip saturated really good with the Mod Podge, and just kind of, you know, dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. You don't want tons of it, because if you can see, just kind of follow the lines. Uh, follow the lines of your twine and uh, try not to get it in in the holes too much. If you do, you can push it out. It's, it's kind of easy to get out, but it kind of adds a little bit of a glitter look to the ball, I think, as well. But go ahead and totally cover the twine with your Mod Podge 
and then you're gonna let it sit and soak overnight or sit and dry overnight is what you're gonna do with it. And the next day, just make sure it's completely dry. If you need to let it dry for longer, then just let it dry as long as it takes until it's completely hardened. And then what you're gonna do is, I think is the fun part. I use one of my little Cricut tools, which I didn't bring upstairs with me. And I just kinda, I'm just gonna use this as a graphic. And I just kinda take it and work it down in there. And you know, in, in the little, the holes and just kinda push on it and push the balloon away from the sides of the twine. And the sound it makes is so satisfying. It's almost like an ASMR video, ASMR, ASMR. So yeah, you just kind of take and push that balloon away. Or if you don't want to take the time to do that, you actually can take a little pen or some scissors and snip that balloon and let it deflate. And as it deflates, it normally just kind of pulls away from the sides. And then just find the largest little, little outlet hole that you have and just work that balloon right out from the middle of it. And that's what you end up with. You have your nice little twine ball. And then all I did was take a loop of the twine itself and I tied it onto the top and I hid that knot down inside. So yeah, you, you can't see it now. So I hid that knot down inside. And then I just put my embellishments on. I made a little bow and hot glued that on and I took some bits and pieces off of some of my embellishments that I have <clears throat> and hot glued those on with some leaves, put a couple pine cones, well three pine cones on the back for when it spins around because I have a cat and I know that it will spin. <laughs> and that's all you do to make your twine balls. Now I know some people just like to make the balls by themselves and not hang them they will put them in a dish as a filler and you can always do that which I think is just as, as nice and just as pretty so it's really up to you be creative you could put uh, maybe some lights inside put make a bunch of them put them in a bowl and put some lights around them all and yeah you've got like a little centerpiece you could put some pine cones down in there between them some greenery it would be actually quite pretty now that I say it. Hmm. I might have to do that. But anyways, that is your tutorial for day two of the 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments with Mama Ames. Isn't that very simple? Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to take a second, I would really, 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 really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell that pops up next to it and make sure you click all so that you get all of the notifications as they come up these next few days as I share more and more tutorials. And if you like the way I did this tutorial better than the way I did the last one, let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. And I will talk to you soon. Keep being kind to each other. Continue that circle of positivity. Thanks, guys. Bye.